Ni hao, travelers. Happy second semester. Once upon a time, on a TV show called Ni hao Kai Lan, a little old grandpa they called Ye Ye showed his daughter how to make a unique recipe. Four-year-old Lily's mind was blown and opened a world beyond Happy Meals and SpaghettiOs. I wanted those dumplings. So today we're traveling to China and delving into the rich and very delicious origins of Chinese dumplings. We'll even take a road trip to see how these tasty treats are made. Dumplings have been a staple of Chinese culture for more than 1800 years. The specific origins of the dumpling are mainly unknown due to their age. However, there is one account that is considered by most to be the true story of how this delectable food came to be. According to legend, dumplings were invented by Zhang Chongxian during the Han Dynasty. Zhang Chongxian was a medical practitioner and a government officer in Shangsha, Hunan province. He was highly respected and revered by all that knew him. It is said that he would make an herbal medicinal type soup that he generously gave to the people for free. When Zhang retired, he traveled to his home village of Nanyang City in the Henan province. He arrived during the harsh, freezing winter and was shocked to see the sight of so many sick and frail people. In an act of true kindness and creative genius, Zhang made a mixture of mutton, chilies, and medical herbs and cooked them in a soft dough-like wrapper. He had created the first dumpling. He quickly handed them out to the sick. His neighbors' bellies were warm and full, their illnesses cured, and now they had a delicious new snack. Zhang gave away his dumplings for free until the new year. Now let's go, go, go on an academic travel field trip. Follow me. Today, we are visiting Noodles and Dumplings on George Dieter to watch a hands-on cooking demonstration from one of their talented chefs. This is an amazing restaurant that specializes in handmade noodles and dumplings. The manager has invited us to take an inside look at the art of dumpling making. First, the dough is made fresh daily. The dough is carefully cut and rolled out into a long rope shape. It is then ripped into smaller discs. Next, the disc-shaped dough pieces are meticulously rolled into thin sheets. And now for the filling. The chef packs shrimp and beef into these dumplings, but it can be any minced meat or vegetables. The dough sheet is folded over the mixture and artfully pinched together to create its unique shape. For some dumplings, like the Xiaolong Bao, the folds can be quite intricate. Finally, they are placed into a wooden crate to be steamed before making their way to our table. Here's the yummy final result. Delicious! The expeditor at the restaurant shared with me that while it looks easy, it does take a long time to master the technique. These talented chefs will usually apprentice in the kitchen for a year or more before mastering the craft of dumpling making. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. And one thing I've noticed is that if it looks effortless, it undoubtedly took a lot of work to make it appear that way. Zhang would be proud. I'd like to give a huge thank you to Caesar, John, and the talented chefs at Noodles and Dumplings for having us. You made four-year-old Lily's dream come true. Thanks for tuning in, Hanks. Till next time, you're the flea's eyebrows.